Uh, Mother's Day. The one day a year where people all over the world pay tribute to mom, mama, mum, or ma. But how did it all begin? Enter Anna Jarvis, the founder of Mother's Day who came to despise her own holiday. Anna Jarvis really, really loved her mother. Her mother dies in 1905. And in 1907, she really starts this campaign that we need to have a day in honor of what mothers do. That's Dr. Catherine Antolini. She's an historian and wrote a book about Anna. She always identified herself as Anna Jarvis, the founder of Mother's Day. And in 1914, after six years in state-by-state -state campaigning, Jarvis's dream came true. President Woodrow Wilson officially designated the second Sunday of May as Mother's Day. Hooray! Right? Jarvis felt Wilson was taking credit for her efforts, and he wasn't the only source of her ire. Anna had a really wonderful enemies list. She was mad at the candy industry, and she was mad at the floor industry, and she was mad at all these charities. She also turned on some of her early allies, including John Wanamaker, a business tycoon who saw a commercial opportunity in Mother's Day. He started putting the holiday on everything, even dishes at his restaurant. Jarvis did not approve. She ordered this Mother's Day salad. And once the salad arrived, Mrs. Jarvis just dumped it on the floor and walked out. That was not what the day was supposed to be. What exactly was the day supposed to be? So it really wasn't meant to be go out restaurant, buy all these flowers and greeting cards and candy and gifts. It was just go home and spend the day with your mother. That's all she wants. I wonder what Anna Jarvis would say about the way Mother's Day is celebrated today. She would still be defending it against commercialization. We celebrate this holiday in ways that she doesn't think we should. Hear that, people? Don't forget about Anna Jarvis, the mother of Mother's Day. And please, send your mom a card. For her, a greeting card would be insincere. It would be cheap. It would be lazy. If you can't go home, then, you know, write a letter to her. Don't just send a card. Got it. Write your mom a handwritten letter. She deserves it. Don't you think? <laughs>